we have the page of coin the moon card and the three of coin so this is some uh, heavy earth energy um, book casing some more intuitive um, energy so the page of coin um, this is someone who is very aware of their material world and may very well be an earth sign. Oh, geez, I got stuff falling on me. And our earth signs are Capricorn, Taurus, and you, Virgo. So this could be you or this could be someone else. Um is energy that's in your space but regardless this is uh, maybe someone who's not super financially mature willing to take risks maybe a little um, rash in their decision making when it um, has to do with their physical space um, it may not take incredibly good care of their body or something but on the other side, we have this six of coin, and this is a card of charity. So um, two people here exchanging um, a mon monetary element, and there's an obvious division. She's asking her posture is head down and um, um, from a plate place of need, and he's from a place of having to give access. So... Uh, the moon card this is the second time today i'm going to read this card this way and it just seems weird to me because typically this is not what i relate to the moon card at all but sometimes the moon card can talk about things that are done at night when nobody's watching um kind of some i don't want to say sneaky but maybe a little mysterious behavior or something that's just not out in plain daylight right so something that someone's keeping secretive or to themselves a little bit, um, that's a very personal kind of thing. So there may be um, a reason why you might be encompassing this more immature um, energy and giving stuff away, like giving to, um, how can I say this? <clears throat> Like, I feel here that either you're taking what you shouldn't be, like, you really don't need that. Um, uh, you're taking uh, taking advantage of a situation or allowing someone to take a, a advantage of you because of whatever this situation is. I feel like you're aware of it. Like it's not a secret. It's a secret. I'm going to say that. It's not a secret to you, I don't think. Like I think you are aware of this. This is a card of intuition as well. And um, transforming and how things look different um, from the perspective can be different. Um, like this light from our moon is still the same daylight we have. It's just bounced off the moon and onto us. It's the same light. You know what I mean? It's just getting here in a different way. So, um, I'm going to pull some more cards. <laughs> Maybe it'll clear up what side of the fence you're on. Ace of coins. Maybe it's a new project that you're willing to take a risk on. Willing to be like, you know what? I'm going to see if this can really create something bigger and better. Because the ace of coins is um, like a spark of potential in our physical world so this is something real like brand new it's an opportunity for you to um grow something into something bigger um it's like a seed 
that you're going to plant and you're going to nurture and you're going to take care of and you can, you know, if you choose. And this could grow into something special for you, a new, um, a new way to make money or a new way to um, take care of your physical space. Yeah, three of wands. So this person's already been on a journey for a while and they walked right up to the edge of the shore. Now, in order to continue their journey, they're gonna have to change modalities in which they travel, right? So a lot of times, especially this followed by this, this is really making me think about in order for this to come to fruition, um, there's gonna have to be uh, a change made in how you're doing things and maybe that's why uh, the secret ish activity or this mysterious uh, or it could just be you listening to your um, intuition more connecting to that and finding that um, you have a uh, this great idea or this great thing come to you in a way that you can really turn it into something good because then we're followed by the world card which is a complete wholeness the world it's everything it's feeling really um secure in your space and understanding who you are on this planet and how amazing that all is so this is a super 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 positive card um and geez, I don't even really want to pull <laughs> any more. I, I feel like that's a complete reading, but this was a really, really small amount of time. So let's, uh, I guess we'll pull a couple more and then we'll do kind of a recap of how this all goes back to this ideal course of action. While I was shuffling, and this might be seem way outside the box, but I had this vision of the, of this Virgo who's typically like you all um, tend to have your stuff together, organize, have a plan, um, pretty thoughtful on how you're going to do things and approach things and, and so forth. I see this person like almost being like, you know what, I'm going to get... Um, I just saw like this person having this moment of reevaluating what material worth meant to them and kind of being like, you know what, maybe I don't want, maybe this isn't the center of my universe. Maybe this isn't what I want. Um, through some like deep intuition, or, like meditative work or prayer work or something where you really connect with some, some soul, like spiritual stuff. And I'm going to give all my stuff away and I'm going to go on this new adventure, like go live in a, a minimalistic life or go live the van life for a while. I know it seems silly, but maybe just these overall energies, like it'll, like you'll get it. Um, so it was, it was kind of like just, you know, this uptight Virgo deciding to sell all this stuff and going to live on a sail around the world or something and, and seeing how amazing, you know, it is to be a human. I don't think, I'm not suggesting that you do that. I'm saying these are the overall, like, energies I'm going to feel of this. I'm, I just feel like you're going to make this change, and it may seem really crazy to some people, but you have an opportunity in your physical space to really make some um, changes, have an opportunity to grow something, and go in a different direction 
and create something that you feel really, really good about. And then these last two cards, I pulled the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So the Queen of Swords, like, she's a bad B, you know what I mean? She's super logical and analytical, and she, um, and this is Air, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, pretty tough cookie, um, really blunt, able to um, say what she means and mean what she says and uh, be just and try to be fair. So that's a really awesome, strong energy to be coming through here at the, towards the end of the reading. And then the Eight of Cups, which is someone who is strong enough um, they know like to continue this journey and climb this mountain, they have to detach some emotional baggage because they're just not going to make it carrying all that stuff around. And so the combination of these two cards coming out just makes me feel like you getting really real of being able to speak your truth and um, detach stuff that doesn't um, belong to you anymore and having the ability to become much more capable of being decisive, making good decisions, keeping your logic about you um, because you're not carrying around all this emotional stuff that doesn't serve you any longer. So, I think that's a really cool way to end this portion of the reading. Those are some really beautiful and strong cards coming out showing that oh, <laughs> you could possibly, um, you know, there's potential around the corner for you to make a change if that's what you want to do. And that's really cool and exciting. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to stop the video, gather these cards, move them out of the way, restart the video, and we're going to pull some more cards for another um, spread. All right, Virgo. So I've changed decks. I'm using this Happy Tarot. They're like super cute little um, cartoons, and it's fun. And... I'm going to do a specific card pull for specific spaces, um, which I've done in the past a lot, where I do one for a mental, physical, emotional, spiritual space, and then we'll pull a couple uh, suggestion or action cards at the end. So first will be your mental space. And we have the five of wands. So you may feel a little um, like you're having to put a lot of effort in here. You're efforting. <laughs> you're, um, it might be uh, some conflict, some uh, disagreements, uh, but it's probably necessary to work out the kinks. So just remember, if a conflict comes your way, people are disagreeing, you feel like people are fighting over stuff, it may be extremely necessary to work out some um, better ways to work together or to deal with solutions or find solutions to your problems. So look at it as a, as, try to look at it as a positive experience and approach it as such, and it, it may very well shock you how much easier it is to get through that when your perspective it, of it is this is needed right now, um, especially mentally, or you could just kind of be feeling a little beat up mentally, taking on um, this different perspective and maybe uh, considering the possibility of making some really big changes in your life. Uh, it might have you a little stressed out or beat down. Self-care may become really important for you. So let's pull a card for your physical space and let's see what comes up. And the Hermit. So yeah, self-care is going to be important. Turning off others for a while. So if you have this in your workspace or whatnot, um, you're going to have to come home and take better care of yourself and go within. Um, 
whether this is meditation, prayer, going for a long walk, unplugging is going to probably be very important. Put down the phone, turn off the music, listen to your own thoughts for a while. This is not about being lonely. This is about being alone. So you have time to digest the world. You have time to um, align your feelings and your thoughts and your all the stuff. Soak it in rumble it around and form your own opinion on things and um, get adjusted to how life makes you feel sometimes and what you can really do with it. Going back to the moon card, um, these cards go very well. I always think of the moon like inside of here, like he's, he's pulled the moon down and he knows the secrets and he's carrying it very carefully and, and this walk he's on gives him his time to connect with that kind of energy and, um, you know, be within himself so he can hear his own conscience and his own spirit and, and learn from that. So that's a really beautiful card to come out. So don't feel bad if you're spending time alone in the month. Make good use of it. Put it, use it to the positive meditate, pray, do something that's good for your body, unplug a little bit and um, see what your your inner self has to say about things. You know what I mean? Give it time. Give it the respect it, it deserves. Let's pull a card for your emotional space. Ooh. That was just me not able to shuffle. So let's try it again. We have the Two of Cups. So emotionally, you may be feeling very connected um, to someone or really in a place where you feel valued and like there's some authentic sharing of what it is to have a relationship with someone. This could be a significant other, friend, family member, however this energy is coming through emotionally. That's extremely positive energy to feel like you can authentically connect with other human beings. So I don't think I even need to elaborate. If you feel good, um, that's awesome. I'm glad that emotionally you're in a space where you have someone to share with. And if you don't right now, um, I'm sure you do, actually. I mean, there's always someone you can t turn to and, and show those deeper parts of yourself that still love you and don't judge you and, and um, accept who you are. And spiritually, we have the tower. So there may be some big adjustments happening in your spiritual life, how you're viewing um, things, your own spiritual practices. You might be um, readjusting that and um, perspective. You might be tearing down some walls to, or something may happen that kind of forces you to look at things differently or to um, engage in your spiritual acts in a different way. Um, the tower card's really scary for people sometimes. Of course, in this deck, even though it's kind of like things are on fire and people are falling, it's still really cute. I just love this deck. Um, and I think it reminds me that the tower is not like it's not that serious all the time. Like sometimes it's intense and sometimes it's just little adjustments that like, okay, I need to approach this from a different way. So we're going to tear all this apart, start, start at the foundation and, and um, rebuild it the way that we want to or need to, that kind of thing. So let's move on to our two suggestion cards. So what's you know the the leaving advice and we have the star card which is funny and we have the eight of swords so if you um aren't super familiar with tarot 
This is a tower. There is a number system. Each card has its own numbers, of course. In the major arcana, they go from one to, or zero to twenty-two. So the tower is, as you can see here, sixteen, and the star is seventeen. So my how I've always associated these cards is after something has crumbled and things have been taken all the way down if you're rebuilding a house and you have stripped it to its core the star card then following that is that moment when all of that is oh, like you have become super you're okay with the destruction you're okay with whatever it is you've had that's fallen down or torn apart and you are so secure and feeling in such a place feeling in a place that you have um that you're the creator of your space of your reality and you have some semblance of control of how you're gonna put this um your tower back together the way you want it to and how it's gonna better serve your life so she's, um, I always see her, like she pour, she's pouring water into the lake and onto land. And um, so water energy, of course, has a lot to do with her. And um, as well as the celestial star kind of thing, um, we're all made of stardust, right? <laughs> and she is our, that beginning. And this is followed by the Eight of Swords. So, uh, taking that as a suggestion, well, the Star card, I think the sex suggestion is just get through the stuff and appreciate how freaking awesome you are to be a human on this planet made out of stardust.